my art is a celebration of the of what I'm in now, the culture that I'm in now, the contemporary culture that I live in. My work attempts to celebrate that culture. That's what I'm trying to do. What I don't look at is the, the thing they call modernity, the things that have come to uh, encroach upon the culture. I never thought, imagined, I could do a thing called painting as a profession or art as a profession. No. My full name is Abladi Glover. means here in Ghana. In other parts of the world, this is an expensive business. We're talking millions of dollars. Can you describe arts and culture in Ghana? Ghana, we live with art. So we see it all around us. It, art is life itself. Like the stool we are sitting on. It's all decorated, you know, and that is the home. So art is nothing special. It's just like the flower that grow, grows around us. You don't appreciate it because it's all around us. Those out there, um, they don't see a lot of these things. Art is something you put on the wall and you must see it. You go and look and you enjoy it. You come home and there's nothing much at home. But with uh, our culture, art is part of life. The, the things even used in the kitchen, it's always decorated. The pots are decorated. Everything is decorated. And uh, because it's life itself, we, do, we take it as life. We do not specially give it a special meaning to it or what. So um, the, 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 the cultures are different and the way we look at art is quite different. I would want to find out the contribution of arts and culture um, to, to, from Ghana uh, to the world as a whole. Yes, we have contributed a lot, a lot. Ghanaian artists, in fact, there are Ghanaian artists who made it out there. I don't know if you heard of Anachi, El Anachi. Whose work is selling for a million dollars out there? Yes. Do you know, he lives in Nigeria, just across the border. He lives in Nigeria here. But he was trained here in Ghana. He was trained at Tech. And Uso Ankoma, Uso Ankoma's work too is in the building. Uso Ankoma lives in Germany. These people are artists who are on the world art scene. So yes, Ghana is, 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 is quite uh, out there, I must say. Ghana is quite out. You, you mentioned some few people that uh, have had training here yes. in Ghana. Yes. I would want to get a broader picture. Mm -hmm. Have we as a nation been able to nurture um, the younger ones? There has been a lack of interest, rather in the part of the, on the part of the nation, and when I say the nation, the government, the powers that be, to promote art. And therefore, these artists, when they were trained, years ago, when they were trained, and when I was at Tech, we were training these people, they came out looking for jobs because there were no exposure points. I mean, if you have no place to sell your work, why work? You know, so uh, I remember myself when uh, Ambassador Hotel was there. I once hired a room to go and show my work mm. as a, a practitioner. And at, at the end of the exhibition, what I sold, I used to pay the ambassador. You know, so what's the point? Uh, so for some time, our uh, artists came out, maybe practiced a bit, they realized it's, it's a difficult terrain, and they, they, they look for jobs. Today, I can assure you, today, there are artists who are trained, they, they get trained, they come out, and they go into studios. We've seen, since we opened this, about 20 years ago we opened, um, we've seen artists who were teaching. They've left their work. Some were working in various areas. They've left it, and they are now practicing full time. It means, therefore, that they love the work, and they are making enough to look after themselves. So it is the exposure. Um, it, it, it's, it's a tough world when nobody sees you. And um, the, the good thing is that this, I think, maybe I believe that that's why Kuma. Um, Pioneered, hope open the uh, what do you call it, the museum place. But one is too small, two, it hasn't succeeded. 
um, they, they have their problems, maybe financing and all that, they have their problems. Uh, and now the artists have uh, places where they can get some exposure. People will see there where people are traveling, travelers come here, that is uh, tourists come here, uh, people who are working in this country come here. I mean, it, even the government itself, when they get visitors, they bring them here. Oh, so you see, it, uh, um, they, they are beginning to realize that yes, um, visitors need a place to go to see the, the, at least the uh, um, a best high view of the culture. I love what I'm doing.